Okay, today's episode is geared mostly towards our single friends. However, all of us can benefit from this little reminder. Be the kind of lover you want to attract. It's basic law of attraction, you guys. It's the not so secret secret. So if you want to attract the love of your life, or keep the one you have, do this. Thing you do. You're yeah. doing this? Then we have to become that love ourselves. We, on our own, have to fully embody the ideal lover that we're searching for. You know, uh, you're gonna talk the talk. I want the perfect lover. Oh, Ooh. oh, oh. You gotta practice walking the walk. Oh, yeah. Oh. Practice makes perfect. P.S. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that keyword, practice? Oh. Practice. Yes, yes, yes I did. We're all a work in progress and we only become better versions of ourselves with practice. And everybody knows the classic saying, practice makes better versions of ourselves. So today we wanted to share with you a couple of things that we practice regularly so that you can attract the love that you're looking for. So let's get started with today's part of love which is all about the law of attraction. Oh God. It's so good. Okay, so we talk about self-love and alone time a lot in other episodes, but in regards to being the lover that you're looking for, take time to think about this. Take time to love on yourself. Oh. No, don't be a weirdo. There is nothing sexier than someone who's confident and grounded and 100% secure with the person that they are. Which PS means they're comfortable being a work in progress. Okay, so I have a question for you. Why is it so attractive to see someone who's so comfortable in their own skin? Take a second to think about it. Is it because they have the space in their lives to love us as well? Ding, 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 ding. What? Thank you. Thank you so much. In the words of the RuPaul, if you don't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? So we wanna challenge all of our part of love friends. Reevaluate this idea of self-love. Go to the dark spots and give yourself some compassion because you are doing the best you can. And just be your best friend. Give yourself some love. I mean, play Lizzo on repeat if you need to. <laughs> that chick knows what's up. I promise you, this is not easy for anyone, but as soon as you start truly loving yourself, you are one, gonna make space in your heart to love someone else, and two, attract another confident, sexy ass, self-loving human being. Okay. Be generous with your love. hey -o. Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> So we want to explain this one thoroughly, and I think you do it best, so stick with us. I'll be right back. Okay, so by practicing loving generously within your world right now, whether it's friends, family, coworkers, or even that Tinder date that went sour because you played therapist all night to someone in need, you're putting out a signal to the world that says two things. One, you have so much love to give that you're ready to take on a banging ass lover that's deserving of your love. And two, you in turn are ready to receive this love. Now, this does not mean that you should run around showering those soul-sucking vampires in your life with love just because we said be generous. But what it does mean is that maybe you grab an extra cookie on your lunch break for that coworker that's having a really rough day. Maybe you offer to take care of your sister's kids for a night so she can finally have sex with her husband in peace. Or maybe it's just giving a compliment to the grocery store clerk who's so exhausted and clearly could use some kind words. Because you see, love is alive. It grows, it morphs, it changes, and it is our responsibility to keep it moving. You can't suffocate it. You can't just lock it up because you're scared of losing it. You have to use it because it is, in fact, the currency of a good life. Truth is, love begets love. That's it, it's really that simple. So love generously, because I mean, like, why not? <laughs> okay, get out there and make some moves. Uh, yeah, right? Uh, this is one I made. Yeah. That's good. 
<laughs> Don't do that. Okay, you little love machines. Now that you are self-loving, love-giving monsters, you gotta put yourself out there. We're not saying that you should swipe right on every Tinder candidate or swipe left. I don't know. Is it right? Left, right? right? Whichever one it is. Whichever one is the accept. <laughs> don't accept all of them. Don't whatever. Either way, there's an energy that you're going to begin to exude and people are going to notice. So do it the old fashioned way. Head on down to the malt shop and find somebody you're keen to put your pen on. We're not that old. So head to the Starbucks mm -hmm. and maybe find someone who catches your eye and just strike up a conversation. Yeah. 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 Nailed it. <laughs> yeah. You tricked me. <laughs> or you walk right up to that hottie at the bar and offer to buy them a drink. Yeah. The point is, start living with your heart open. I don't care how many times we have been hurt and we have all been hurt. You gotta start opening your heart again. And we know it's scary, but the key to finding love is you gotta stay open to it. So get out there and make some moves. Yeah, the move I made from earlier. So if you are out there looking for love or growing the love you already have, promise us, promise yourselves right now that you will commit to this practice at the start of every day. I don't care if you go full-blown vision board or you gotta write them on post-it notes and stick them to the toilet so you can think about it in your morning poop in peace. Do this every day and I promise you that eventually love, specifically the kind you've been searching for, is gonna punch you right in the heart and you're not even gonna know what hit you. Boom! Man, I never played sports, but I would've been good. She would've been so good at sports. <laughs> because being the kind of lover you want to attract is definitely a part of love. 